The Corinth School District started school today, one of the first districts in the country to head back to the classroom in the pandemic. 12 News' Jay Belexa talked with the superintendent, a teacher, and a parent about the first day. Jay? Byron, after much thought, preparation, and cleaning, students attending the three schools in the Corinth School District headed back to class. The superintendent estimates about 80% of 2,600 students were there today. Even in the coronavirus pandemic, the Corinth School District stuck with its normal start date on its year-round schedule. They surveyed the parents and have made everybody aware of all the precautions they've taken. So um, I was more okay with it than I would was reserved about it. Brandy Butler has a child in fourth grade and two in fifth and eighth grades. She says essentially they've been in quarantine for five months and it was time for her kids to go back to school. The superintendent was pleased with how the first day went. Uh, we saw that many of the um, safety measures that we put in place uh, worked as we thought they would work. Uh, the thermal scanners worked in which we were testing out, um, you know, checking everyone's temperature as they arrived, arrived in the building. We had all children scanned and in their classrooms by 8 o'clock. So that was a definite um, check and accomplishment. The district says about 13 to 15 percent are taking part in the virtual option. Most chose the traditional approach. We're doing trying to keep doors and windows open um, to do cross ventilation, uh, lots of hand washing, hand sanitizer, um, disinfecting in the buildings. Um, all of those types of things um, are in place. So um, we're going to see how it goes. Math teacher Alicia Knight at Corinth High School says this is nothing like she's ever experienced. The district did provide the students with two masks each, and the teachers also have masks, and we also have the clear face shield. Students who, you know, really want to see our mouths and maybe read lips sometimes if we have to make accommodations for that, then we were able to have the clear face Shields. Knight says the students are complying and taking all the pandemic related adjustments in stride. And when asked if the district will have fall sports, the superintendent said they will if allowed by the MHSAA. Alcorn County has 278 coronavirus cases. Jade Belexa, 12 News.